Okay folks, wanna pop up another quick video. So I've just landed back in the yard, back at the office here, and I've been on the phone a number of times coming up the road to a couple of our guys based in GB, um, as well as here in Northern Ireland. So at the moment, it looks like we have another couple of overweight offences coming in uh, for operators and, and clients. So it seems to be the same situation with vans, uh, small trailers and things, more than trucks and trucks and trailers, okay? So I'm gonna just put up a very quick slide here that we use during our low security training um, and our vehicle weights and measures training with hopefully may help. Okay, folks, so what we have here is a very simple combination. A small van and a trailer attached to the van. So we talk about combination weight or train weight. So for any guys that don't know or aren't aware of this, the first thing we have is our GVW or gross vehicle weight. And this is the weight of the vehicle and everything in the vehicle, which includes the diesel, which includes the load in the back, which may inc include three guys in the front. It will include some of their lunch boxes, which are damn heavy. It might include the boss's wallet. Whatever it is, guys, this is the gross vehicle weight. The vehicle itself cannot exceed the permitted weight stated on the chassis plate. The next thing we have then is our gross train weight. This here is the combination weight when the van and the trailer is combined together. Okay, it's the weight of the trailer and everything that is in the trailer. The weight of the van and everything that is in the van. Okay, remember your trailer also has non laden weight and a payload. Depending on how the trailer was uh, built and manufactured, it too will have a chassis plaque on the airframe of it. Now, the next thing we're see people seem to go wrong here, guys, okay, or get in trouble is, we have to understand that we have permitted weights over each axle. So, for example, we have a permitted weight on axle number one, a permitted weight over axle number two, number one on the trailer, and number two on the trailer, or more importantly, axle number three and axle number four, because now that it's a combination, it's a combined vehicle, and this is where you would take your measurement or your weights from, from an enforcement point of view. Okay, now the next thing that we get guys and a lot of issues that we, we seem to be getting people to come to us with is the likes of pin weight. Alright, so we have a lot of different contributing factors here to vehicle weights and any of the prohibitions issued or court prosecutions that proceed after it. So again, if you're a company with a lot of vans, do you know this? Have you a system in place? Do you have documented policies and procedures? Do you have sufficient relevant training? Not death by PowerPoint, by somebody who wouldn't know a van if it drove over the top of them. What sort of systems do you have in place? Very you know, simple calculation. It's a very, very simple thing to control. However, you only know it if you know it. Okay, so a lot of small companies run about with vans and trailers. They don't understand this sort of um, concept of it because they don't think that they need to worry about it. But coming up the road the, to, today here, I think that's another tree that has come in, um, which is disappointing, very disappointing, more disappointing for the people, obviously, not for us because it makes us busier. But we're here to educate more than anything else, guys, before we get into the investigative chain, before we go and, you know, um, examine vehicles, before we go in as, a, in as expert witness. We're here to educate and try and help people. So if you have a fleet of vans, trucks, trailers, buses, whatever it is, guys, if you're not sure, give us a shout at TCTS Group, okay? Um, get in contact with us, see what we can do for you. See, um, a lot of times we're going in and we're doing audits, but a lot of time we're going in and we're doing monthly or quarterly visits with guys. Uh, we're checking the weights of the vans, we're checking unladen weight, payload, um, axle weights, we're training the drivers, we're putting disciplinaries in place. And not that long ago, I think I might have posted about it, um, at the end of last year we were brought in, brought in to a big fleet of vans and trailers for a large distribution company. And it, like hardware distribution as such. And they spec these vehicles that were completely no good for the fleet. 42 new vehicles that were redundant. Absolutely no good for the work they wanted. And this is where we get a lot of asset management as well. Guys going into roads and they're just buying the cheapest vehicle without understanding what it's needed for. Okay? So anyway guys, if you're stuck, give us a shout at tctsgroup.com. That is all.